Pride and Prejudice is my favorite book because I think in the course of a well-told plot, uh, two characters who, bo who evidenced pride and prejudice at the beginning of the book and then in the course of the story change is a very clear example about how often one sees that in many life situations. My favorite quotation means that I have to say something about another university tradition, which is based in the faculty club called The Revels. And for years and years and years, the faculty club members would put on a, a variety show, which were always called The Revels. And one year, a professor of history uh, wrote the script, and it was about moving the university to somewhere else. It was during the period of time when uh, urban renewal was much of the topic, and the theme of his this um, uh, Revels production was, it's not a very good university, it's simply the best there is. And I have thought about that so many, many times, that it is so true of this, this university. It's not the very best university, it's simply the best there is. My favorite personal memory was when after the after teaching of that teacher evaluations were do, being done, and I got my first packet of them and read through them, and they were pretty good. And I was able to say to myself, you did pretty good, Lorna. And that was, uh, I've remembered that, and I was happy about that. They built the East Tower, and people were beginning to think about how they were going to use it. And then they built the West Tower, this one. And after it was completed, but not finished inside, it collapsed. My father was at that point in the law school, and he heard the collapse sound because he said it was very, very loud. So they then rebuilt it, and much stronger. When Regenstein was being planned and then built, there was jockeying on campus, as you might easily expect, for who'd get Harper. It was uh, agreed that having the college take over and be part of, have Harper was the right thing to do. And one of the very first things they had to do was rebuild, re-strengthen the East Tower, which had never fallen down. But it was built the same as the original West Tower. So when the building was emptied, when Regenstein opened, and the, this, the whole Harper was being redone, redesigned for, for the college, the very first thing on the agenda was to re-strengthen East Tower. So the next time you're in the East Tower and you go up above the mezzanine, notice that there are diagonal, uh, uh, covered by sheetrock, angles supporting the floors above. Look for them. That's why they're there. Mestocles, Thucydides, Peloponnesian War x squared, y squared, H2SO4. Okay, yeah, golly, I haven't, I ha my brain hasn't done that for quite a while. <laughs> well, I guess my thinking about the university is some of the wonderful things that have happened in the past and some of the excitingly interesting things that are happening in the present. But my wish for the university would be that when people are celebrating the 225th birthday, 
that they will have as many past, present, and optimistic wishes for the future as I have in 2015.